Uh, my name is Gareth Evans, uh, I'm the group bar manager for Jason Atherton Restaurants and this is a day in my life. I get up about seven. I don't normally have breakfast, which is a terrible habit. I get the tube in from Stratford. It's, it's the same 12 hours, but shifted. I much prefer this way of doing it. Being up in the morning makes you feel a bit more productive. Today, I'm arriving at Pond Street uh, early to meet Monica for a meeting. Normally, I would start at Social Eating House early doors, but I'm going to go meet her. Pollen Street was where I started. It was really tough at the beginning, I'm not going to lie, it's probably the hardest job I've ever had, but it took me more in two years than 10 years previous of bartending. While I'm at Pollen Street, I go and see uh, Georgie, the reservations manager, to check on a couple of things with reservations, but also to look at the plan for the new sites. Just kind of get what she thinks about which table we should be booking out and which ones we should leave for walk-ins. Next up, we're going to the new site at City Social, something that I've been looking forward to for a while. We're showing the new managers the, the site and sort of seeing where we're up to with the build. I, I kind of have to spend most of my time on my phone, checking emails for the other sites from Hong Kong and, and Singapore. Today was a pretty good day because we had the, the new bar managers there. It was the first time they've seen it and it was good to see their faces when they saw the view and saw the you know, setup of the bar. We tend to go there every time we kind of have a significant sort of structural thing, like so when the bar will go in or when the kitchen goes in, just to make sure that everything's going to be right. I don't know many people that have done this before. We've expanded so rapidly with so many different places. You know, you've got one site out here and one site out there, but there's no Holland Street Social in Hong Kong. They all have different personalities, so we have to do different bar designs, you have to do different menus, we have to hire different people. Now to uh, Social Link House for staff training and you know, a little bit of prep before service. My, my favourite of the group definitely would be Social Link House because I spent so long designing the bar from the ground up. Every Monday we have training. It's normally a brand that will come in and, and say what it is that they're selling and why it's different, what makes it a good brand. As much as the bartenders would probably tell me I'm slow and useless and haven't got it anymore, I do like to make drinks. But the fact is that when I'm in service, the things that I'm better at is running the floor now. We work with chefs and they are massive on seasonality, so I tend to change menus as much as I possibly can. Having a menu that's printed properly, that everything is kind of fresh and everything on there is current, you know, th those are the little things that, that make a difference. As much as I possibly can, I try and integrate myself with the kitchen. Paul Hood, the chef, will help us and will teach us how to make a syrup better than we would have done it before, or how to infuse something, or how things like salts and brines in a lot of our cocktails, because chefs season everything. You know, the, the techniques that they're using is, is way, way, way in advance of anything that I've seen in most bars. Briefings are, are very important. You need to make sure that bartenders and the floor staff are aware of any changes in the menu, of anything that we've run out of. It essentially means that there's no excuse for anyone not to know what has been changed or what the focus is on that service. The atmosphere at Social Eating House, it's something I've never really experienced before. And when it's full, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing place to be.